Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute um, ear warmer here. And it's all super easy, super simple, beginner friendly, all single crochet. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so the tools you're going to need to make this pattern is um, you're going to need yarn. And I'm just using a Red Heart Worsted Weight 4 yarn that you can find anywhere. If you want to see um, what I use exactly, I use like a really deep purple. Um, I'll leave that link in the description below. I'm using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a measuring tape, and of course you're going to need your size chart. Now, I'm going to make an adult medium, so I'm going to need about 20 inches in length here for these um, cute little ear warmers and all the stitches we're using is just a single crochet um, if you have trouble keeping track of where you've began and ended at you may want to have a stitch marker also so that way you can um, make sure that um, you're keeping track of where you're beginning your stitches at so here what I'm doing is I am just going to make a slip knot onto my crochet hook there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain and I'm going to chain to 20 inches. So I'm just going to chain, make a chain all the way until I get to 20 inches. And of course you can make this any size you want to just chain um, the length that you need. Oh, in my size chart, you can find that on my community page. It won't let me uh, do it in the description, but you can find it on my community page. So here, I'm just measuring, seeing how long I have to go. So I've got a pretty good distance to go here. Um, I've only got about eight inches so far. So here, I'm just going to continue to chain until I get to my 20 inches. Alright, so now we've got where it stretches to about 20 inches, which is what we want. You want to make sure that um, it's not quite 20 inches, you want it to stretch to that 20 inches. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch we made. The most important thing when doing this is to make sure you are um, not turning your chain. You want to make sure that you um, slip stitch and it's um, even around that the chain is not turning at all. So what I'm doing here is I just um, chained one but I'm still I'm gonna look at this and make sure that it's not turning so again just make sure you are not turning that chain when you work into it so you can see I'm kind of looking at it now I'm like okay what do I need to do here and um, I'm stretching it out again, making sure that that chain is not turning. And um, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make one single crochet all the way around. And then when I get to the first one that I made, I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet or the first single crochet that I made. And again, I'm just doing one single crochet all the way around. And the most important part in this whole thing right now is that you make sure that that chain does not turn while you're working in it. And I'll be speeding this up so you don't have to watch me just do double crochets over and over and over and over again all the way around because or single crochets I mean over again all the way around um, because that's really we're only using a single crochet for this whole thing so it's very very easy to make extremely beginner friendly everyone and it just turns out so incredibly cute. And here what I'm doing is I'm counting my stitches and um, it's a good idea to count your stitches. I have 65 total stitches um, in this in each round. So um, I'm counting my stitches that way I make sure that every round that I do has 65 total stitches in it and then I'm not accidentally doing one too many or um, one too less. And <laughs> you can hear my dog in the background, that's funny.
So now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first um, single crochet that I made. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do one single crochet in each of these single crochets all the way around. And remember, I have 65 on this um, on each round, so I'm going to make sure that I have 65 single crochets on this round. And then when I get done, I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that I made. So now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first one made again, chain one, and then continue going all the way around just like I've been doing until I get to about the four inch mark. And I'm going to stagger it when I do this. So I'm, this time I'm starting this stitch. The next row I'll start in the next stitch. But I just want to, I'm just going to make sure I don't do too many. So I'll have 64, so I'll have one stitch extra here. That makes the middle line up correctly. So you see how I'm skipping this stitch right here because I already have my number right here that I need. So I have 65 stitches already. So I'm just going to slip stitch into this first stitch that I made, chain one, and now instead of going into this stitch, I'm going to go into this next stitch right here. And I'm still going to do 65 single crochets. That's just going to make this line lighten up correctly.
Then we're going to slip stitch to the first one we made, chain one, and then we're going to repeat this over and over again until we get the inches that we need wide. So this one's going to go into the same loop this time because we went into the next loop last time. And I'm going to just do 65 single crochets again. So this time I'm starting in the next one. So now I'm just slip stitching to that first um, single crochet that I made and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to now I'm going to start in that next stitch because I started in the same stitch last time so this time I'm going to start in that next stitch I'm just going to slip stitch all the way around and uh, or single crochet gosh all the way around and then slip stitch to that first stitch that I made.
and guys if you like what you're seeing please continue or consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the like button make a comment um, let me know what you guys would like to see if you subscribe to my channel it would really help me out I would really appreciate it guys To measure it just to see how many inches I have now. So I am about two and a half inches. So I need a little bit more to go here.
All right, guys, so now I'm going to measure this again, see how long it is. So here I'm at about, I'm right at three and a half inches, so I think that's good for me. So I am going to go ahead, I'm going to leave my yarn long here, and I'm going to cut it, tie that off, and um, leave my yarn long. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work um, the yarn, the piece I left long, straight down. So it doesn't have to go... A, that line right there is have to go right on that line just make sure you try to um put it straight down or as straight down as you can so again it doesn't have to work right on that line because that line isn't quite straight down so i want to make sure that i'm going as straight down as um, i can now it doesn't have to be perfect by any means but i'm just working that piece of yarn in and out there and i'm um, going again straight all the way down with it So I'm going to take the string and I'm just going to kind of pull it to bunch this up right here. See how I'm bunching it up right like that. And then I'm going to take this one. I should have pulled it to the back already, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull this one to the back right like this. I'm going to thread it through a little bit till it gets over here. Let's see. Let's thread it through to right here. And then let's pull it to the back right over here. So let's pull this other one to the back. I left it long for a reason. So let's pull that right like that. We're going to turn it over and what we're going to do is we're just going to tie it like this right here on the back side. And if you want a little tighter, do it a little tighter. It's okay. So I'm just going to tie that right here right like that on the back side so you can't see it thanks for watching my channel Wendy's kooky crochet tutorial if you like this video please um, subscribe to my channel that would really help me out and happy hooking everybody